Claremont Lincoln University has what's called uh, a gathering weekend and they hold two of those each year. So I was asked to take home one of the founders from Claremont Lincoln University, uh, Mr. David C. Lincoln. And um, you know, to say that that was a unique experience would, would be an understatement overall because I'd never driven him home before and he was going back to his hotel. But I said, okay, let, you know, let's do this. And so he's in my old car and we're on the 10 freeway and we get stuck in traffic and we're sitting there and he begins to look around and we notice that there are all these hybrid vehicles and electric vehicles around us and he began to ask me a question like where's this thing going you know and he kind of said it like where's this thing going and i said well, what do you mean mr lincoln and he said this this car thing where's where's it going and i said are you talking about you know electric vehicles and he said yeah and we just began to converse about sustainability overall and where we were going as a university but more importantly where the world was going with this electric thing and, and this hybrid thing and, and what does that mean. Um, so it was a great conversation and lo and behold a couple of years later we launched our own Masters in Sustainability Leadership. But again it got me thinking about what if there was a program that dealt with that like a TV series. Maybe we call it Conscious and maybe we talk about the wave of the future with all these new cool cars that are out and some of the wave of the past with the cool cars that are there but are not necessarily sustainable. I was invited to a party in West Hollywood. Now that, sound, that sounds pretentious. Don't use that. You can stop. Don't. I'm not going to use that. I was invited to a party in West Hollywood and I have a, a friend of mine and she works in Hollywood. That's what she does. She's in the movie business. And um, so I, I come over to her house and it's in a nice neighborhood, swanky neighborhood, everything. And I pull up in this car and she's like, you can't park on the street you have to park in my garage. And I said, well, okay, but uh, you know, I'm leaking a little bit of oil, transmission fluid. I think I'm leaking a little bit of fluid right now. Um, that's fine. And so she says, no, no, it'll be okay. Just, just pull into my garage. So I pull around the house, pull down into the garage, it's underneath. And as I pull in, there is this brand new Tesla Model S, you know, performance package, $100,000 vehicle. And I pull right up next to it. And her whole family was there. They were having this, this gathering, as I say, and uh, they all began to gather around the Mustang and to look at this car. And they totally disregarded the Tesla, but I'm impressed with the Tesla. I'm like, wow, this is a pretty amazing vehicle. And it just got me thinking about, you know, what if there was a show that dealt with the future of sustainability from the vehicle perspective or from the perspective of a vehicle? you know, overall. So our carbon footprint, emissions, where are these cars going? And do we have to sacrifice good looks and nostalgia um, in order to be sustainable overall? That's how it started. <laughs>